Hi everyone, Allison Jacobson here. Many of you know I have a son with intellectual disabilities. He's 21 years old and there is that fear of what's the next step in his life. He just graduated from high school and he's starting his day program. And I gotta tell you, it's scary because he's starting all over again. Now, for those of you mamas who are out there, I have to tell you, having a support group that you can go to when you have a child with special needs and intellectual disabilities, whether it's a younger kid or an adult child, we are doing massive parenting, right? It's parenting, uber parenting beyond what anybody can express. And if you keep it in and you don't ask for help, it's going to eat you alive. This weekend, I have a great Facebook support group for special needs parents. And I just reached out and said, hey everybody, I'm having a hard day. I'm feeling like everybody wants a piece of me. I'm just scared to death of what the future brings. So here's the trick, right? We need to just go with the flow. We need to understand that there's gonna be better days, there's gonna be harder days, but we also need to congratulate ourselves for the parenting we are doing because it is superhuman. We're Wonder Woman. So here's my advice. I got over it by just going onto Facebook and, and sharing what I was feeling. But how do you regroup and recharge when you've had one of those days with your child that has intellectual disabilities or special needs and you feel like you're giving everything and there's nothing left for you. What can you do? Is it just taking a walk or literally hiding in the bathroom or having a cup of coffee, asking a friend to help you, asking one of your other children to, to chip in? But the thing is, you need to take care of yourself. You need to recharge. And I know you're saying, oh, easier said than done. You're right. It is easier said than done. But you have to do it. You have to find that minute because I'm gonna tell you, it's gonna make the difference for yourself. You need to stay healthy, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, or else you're not gonna be good for anybody. So find those five minutes today to breathe, to meditate, to walk outside, to have a cup of coffee, whatever it's gonna take, but take time for you today.